Has your brain ever tricked you into seeing something that wasn't really there? Well, it turns out AI can do the same thing. It happens when AI generates content that seems real, but it's actually made up. This can be really dangerous if you want to use AI to create any kind of written content. If you don't fact check what it creates closely, you could end up sharing completely false information and land yourself in a heap of trouble. These hallucinations happen when AI is given incomplete or biased data, which makes it fill in the gaps with its own assumptions. It then gives you incorrect facts when you ask about these topics. It's a huge problem and something that the biggest companies in the world are wrestling with, but they've not quite solved it yet. The solution isn't just to not use these tools, because their value is absolutely incredible. You just need to know how to effectively use them and work around these hallucinations. Today we're going to look at some of the most popular AI chat tools to first see how much of a problem it actually is. Next we'll look at which AI tools can help you fact check your work to reduce the problem. All the tools I'm going to talk about today are the free versions of each, as I think that's what most people are using. So first let's talk about everyone's favourite AI chat tool, ChatGPT. For this test I got it to create a list of key events from the 2016 US election to see if it would get the facts and dates correct. Obviously the writing quality is excellent, but how accurate is it? Well I went through and checked all of these facts and dates. It turns out ChatGPT did a pretty good job of getting the facts and dates right overall. 100% of the facts were correct and 92% of the dates were correct. Now this is a well documented topic so I really wasn't expecting the facts to be wrong, but it did do a good job of understanding the timeline of the events in detail. On the other hand, when I did this with Google's Bard, it was only 95% accurate on facts and 45% accurate on dates, which is honestly terrible. Again, this is only one test and these tools are constantly improving and changing, but it does show that ChatGBT is winning right now, even if it's not perfect. This will also be much less accurate when you ask it questions on more niche topics, so you can expect both tools to be worse than this in many day-to-day -day applications. Okay, so now that we know how accurate these tools are, what can we do to avoid these errors? Well, the obvious first step would be to try to get these tools to provide their sources, but neither will do that due to the lack of internet access on the free versions, so we're going to need to look elsewhere. After a bit of research, I found there are two AI tools that people recommend for fact-checking or researching, and that's Bing and Perplexity. Yep, you heard that one right, Bing. Microsoft's not-so-subtle Google search clone. They've built an AI chatbot that searches for information with every response, making it really good for fact-checking. So I hopped over to the Bing website and realised they make you install Microsoft Edge to be able to use it, which is frankly ridiculous given that Microsoft Edge should have been thrown down a deep dark well and never spoken of a decade ago. After installing Edge and rejecting its millions of requests to access all of my data, I got into Bing's AI chat tool. And I've got to be fair, the results were excellent. For every one of the facts I gave it, it accurately found the sources and assessed if the statements were true or not. I'll say it's pretty slow to process each request, and it does completely fail if you give it a large block of text rather than an individual fact. But I'm sure both of these are things that can be improved with time. Overall, I'd say this was the most accurate tool for assessing a fact's accuracy. It's very easy to use, the interface is intuitive, and it's free to use pretty heavily with a free Microsoft account. But despite all of this, the fact that it's locked to their awful browser and that it's so slow left me still looking for another option. That's when I found Perplexity AI. This is an independent tool that works similarly to Bing where it will provide sources and context to statements or questions. Like with Bing, if you provide it a big block of text, it does completely fail. So provide individual facts or statements if you're going to use it. It works in the browser and is much faster than Bing, so those are two big wins. However, while it provides sources with a very high level of accuracy, it can draw completely the wrong conclusions in its text responses. For example, when asked about a date, it will say the date is correct while referencing a different date in its source summary, which is obviously incorrect. With that in mind, you do need to use this tool a little differently from Bing. Rather than asking if a statement is correct, just pop the statement in and let it source references for you. Then you can quickly assess those to come to a conclusion yourself. So it is a bit of a different flow. Bing works best if you want a yes or no answer, but Perplexity is great if you're looking to get some more context on a point and learn quickly with confidence. It's also much faster than Bing with every response in my test, so it's much nicer to use when you're doing a lot of research. So now that we know about the best writing and fact-checking tools, let's discuss how we can combine them to make great content quickly while avoiding as many errors as possible. Well, the first way to avoid hallucinations is just to know they exist, which if you've watched this far, you've already ticked off, so congratulations. Just being aware that these tools aren't always accurate will probably stop you from publishing something directly from them without checking it first. In terms of how to create content that has as few errors as possible, I'd first use ChatGPT over Bard and create long-form written text. So rather than asking for a list of key dates from an event, get it to create a written summary. You can then ask it to list the facts from the text, which it does really well. Finally, throw these one by one into perplexity to get confidence in the facts while learning more about each point. This will let you fact-check and expand on each point quickly and leave you with a well-researched, high-quality piece of content. Now with all AI tools, the best way to know about the current possibilities and limitations of them is to stay well-informed on the latest news around AI and business, which you can do by subscribing to this channel. Or, you know, don't. I'll never know. Either way, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was useful. Have a great day.